Welcome to the AJ Awesome Show, a show about my favorite things. My name is AJ, and my special guest for this episode is Mike Seidel. I hope you like the show. Why did you start wrestling? Well, I loved watching wrestling, and... I, uh, I didn't ever think that it was something that I could do, but I actually saw my brother doing it and succeeding. And I thought, well, if he can do it and be really good, I should at least give it a shot. And then uh, I can find out if I'm good or bad. But if it's, if it's possible, I should at least try. What advice would you give a new wrestler? Take wrestling seriously as a sport. Work hard inside the ring and out and be kind to others. If you could choose to have a superpower, what would you pick and why? Superpower, huh? It's hard, you know, AJ, I'm just so happy the way I am. I don't know if I'd want a superpower. How about the superpower to uh, not lose muscle? Because man, it's hard for me to keep muscle. I would probably choose either teleportation or invisibility because for teleportation, I could just teleport around and go to sh- wrestling shows anytime and like go to podcasts cool. anytime. Now, what would you get from invisibility? Um, I could go invisible behind people in the ring and beat them up. <laughs> that sounds cool. Maybe I'll switch to invisibility. What match made you the most nervous beforehand? I'll tell you, man, I was a little bit nervous. <clears throat> man, the most ner- I just, I'm not, I don't get too nervous these days, uh, or even like before. I, I was probably more nervous in the days when I just started wrestling and um, I was pr- pretty unsure of myself. Uh, lately, though, I would say I got, I got a little bit nervous before that uh, match I just recently had on Dynamite uh, with FTR. Uh, where I teamed with my brother because it was the first match I had had in almost a year. I took, uh, I took the year off because of COVID. So I guess I was just a little bit nervous. Like, are my instincts going to kick in? Uh, Is every, you know, am I going to goof something up horribly? Uh, But everything was okay. And once I'll tell you, man, once I got in the ring, that, that nervousness was gone. I was just like, I was right back at home. What are your favorite pizza toppings? Vegetables, all of them, no meat. What is your opinion about pineapple on pizza? Throw it on, I'll eat pineapple. Yeah, put fruit on pizza, sure. I'll eat pineapple, I don't know, throw some strawberries on there, put some, make, give me an apple pizza, I don't care. There's a, <laughs> fruits and vegetables, my favorite foods. Um, I you? would probably, one funny thing is we just got pizza delivered, basically. What kind of pizza did you get? We got pizza at pizza. Oh, okay. Good choice. I would say Pizza Hut's the best pizza brand. Pizza the Hut. Have you ever seen Spaceballs? Yes. Yeah, that character, Pizza the Hut. That's what I always think of when I get Pizza Hut. <laughs> Do you prefer wrestling in a tag team or singles matches and why? Probably tag team. I just think uh, it's just such a cool format. And uh, then I also have somebody to help me fight and um, help me with the creative part too. And yeah. uh, also team, like it's just more pe- more good people that I get. I, I, I'm very lucky. I get to get in the ring with a lot of really good just quality human beings, you know, and uh, uh, with a tag team match, instead of getting in the ring with just one person uh, who's really cool, I get to get in the ring with three people who are cool. So bigger party. What is your favorite Disney movie? Oh, man, you ever seen Flight of the Navigator? Uh, No, I haven't watched it, but I've seen it okay. on Disney Plus. Like, yeah, check know. it out, dude. It's a great movie. It's a Disney movie and uh they have a special guest voice as the voice of the spaceship it's a really cool movie this kid like this kid goes uh 
um, out with his dog one night and they go to the woods and he falls down. And when he wakes up, it's like eight years in the future. So they don't really know what happened, but what it turns out is a spaceship came and picked him up and they took him away from earth for eight years. And then they dropped him back in the same spot. But the thing is he hasn't aged at all. So he's still a kid and all his family is eight years older. Very cool film. Um, my favorite would probably be either Lion King, Wally, since it's basically a Disney movie since they bought Pixar, or Coco. Now, Lion King, the uh, the the older, the new. The old. I'm with you on that. I like the old one, but I thought the new one was good. Right, like it was cool, but I just thought the original was. Maybe it's just because the original is is more in my heart. I haven't watched the new one yet. Okay, well, it is. I mean, it's cool to check out and just kind of make comparisons, especially if you like the original so much. Like, just check it out and make comparisons. It is a cool film. From what I heard um, on the internet, the whenever they talk, like, the animation isn't really good when they talk. I thought it was all right. But, you know, the internet's full of opinions, isn't it? Yeah. If you could wrestle anyone, alive or dead, who would you pick? My brother, Matt Seidel. That would be a really cool match. I think so, too. You know, I know him pretty well, and he knows me really well. So uh, we'd have a lot, of, it'd be a lot of counters to counters in that match. If you could have three wishes granted, what would they be? Oh, man. Um... I would like an end to all wars, uh, an end to hatred and discrimination. And I would like for my pug to never grow a day older and just stay <clears throat> perfect the way she is. My three would be just to stop all uh, wars and discrimination and all of that, like COVID, all of that stuff, just poof. I love it. And my second wish would probably be so my family is endless amount of money. And my third wish is for my brother to not have muscular dystrophy. Those are great wishes. Those are very selfless wishes. You just want good things for other people. I like that. The money for my whole family is kind of a selfish wish, though. <laughs> I guess you'd get some benefit from that, wouldn't you? What was your favorite match you wrestled and why? I'll just go ahead. I'll just say the one that we recently recorded. Uh, this one will air on AEW Dark this coming Tuesday. And it is myself and my brother versus SCU, Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels. Oh, that seems like a really fun match. Yeah, it was really fun. I had a really good time, except for the getting beat up part. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you would like us to know about you? Is there anything else you want to know about me? I don't know. What do you want us to know about you? I mean... I don't know if there's anything I want people to know about me. Just uh, if I have a message for people, it's that um, be kind to one another, stay positive, and try to embody love the best you can. And if you want to do on a social media plug, we can do. Yeah, dude, I'm uh, I'm on Twitter and uh, Instagram under my handle yoga salt y-o-g-a-s-a-u-l-t yoga salt that's the end thanks for the interview hey aj that was a blast thanks for having me man i hope you enjoyed this episode of the aj awesome show i would like to thank my side elves for being my special guest make sure to like share and subscribe i'll see you next time